All right, this is a left clavicle, and we're going to go over the orange origins. This is the subclavius and the clavi pectoral fascia. There's sternohyoid, pectoralis major, deltoid, and then the insertion of the trapezius. Yes. This is a left scapula. We're going to go over the origins. Um, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres major, teres minor, deltoid, the long head of the tricep, long head of the biceps, corcobrachialis, um, the inferior belly of the omohyoid, the subscapularis. Then for insertions, we have the trapezius, the rhomboid major, rhomboid minor, and the levator scapulae. Um, we have the pectoralis minor and the serratus anterior. This is the right humerus, and I'm going to start with the origins. This is the common extensor origin, the common flexor origin, the pronator teres, the extensor carpi radialis longus, the brachioradialis, the brachialis, the medial head of the triceps, lateral head of the triceps. Then for insertions, this is the deltoid, the um, corn coracobrachialis, the pectoralis major, latissimus dorsi, and teres major. This is the teres minor, infraspinatus, supraspinatus, and the subscapularis. Okay, this is the left ulna, and we're going to start with the origin. This is the flexor digitorum superficialis, this is the pronator teres, and the supinator. This is the flexor digitorum profundus, the pronator quadratus, the extensor indices, extensor pollicis longus, abductor pollicis longus, um, and for insertions, this is the brachialis, the triceps, and then the anconius. This is the left radius, and I'm going to start with the origins. This is the flexor pollicis longus, the abductor pollicis longus, and the extensor pollicis brevis. For the insertions, we have the biceps, the supinator, pronator teres, the pronator quadratus, and the brachioradialis.